What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the Virtue. What about his messages? You go be Take a look around if you want. Can't see your face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Every single piece of tech we I see, security. Out. We will get everything else we need from. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait, Boris. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Wait. Yeah. And... Might not be important. Maybe. All of them are from Pacifica. Now's down our search, at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. And if he starts talking about the biochip bio himself, will you hear this? Should I? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand? All right, I think we got everything. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me? I've known what she'd gotten herself into. Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oui, we are taking it. What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Fine. Just found the auto translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Thank 
Pourquoi même j'avais Qui s'il veut en amener nous direct sous Alt Vous avez une bonne idée Très bien. Si vous décidez si c'est bon critique, ça me pense. À continuer à faire travail. Oui. Ok, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. Honestly, no idea at all. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? Got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Psycho and actually sent a patrol this time, but it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced, or anyway, could you check it out for me? Be much appreciated. Word of a cyber psycho attack, all confirmed. Even reported to Max Tech. Thing is, nobody's gonna show because Militech shut it right down. You ask me, psycho's gotta be one of theirs. My Eddie's are on Lieutenant Moa. Anyway, Corporal's gonna go straight into treatment. So make very, very sure you keep her in one piece. Padre 
Maldito es esto que estás por cielos. Hey, I don't think I know you. I'm Claire. You might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife? Uh-oh. Forgot to close my tab? Bar has a buzz about you lately. Because the Burke is reliable, gets things done. And since I need help... Okay. Need a driver for street races. Drop by my auto shop, I'll tell you more. Your garage, where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot, you can't miss it. All right, I'll try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay, see you, Claire. It is good to see you, B. Seems pretty, uh... Secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He's a man of honor. Right, because our suckers' ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse the true honor with the petty morals by which you live. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. My witness, B. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Who's there? Saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, 
I have not yet failed to keep but my But you can't oath. ignore the truth. Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to your but this is gonna take much longer. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself lucky that I... Odin! Not... What? We're talking about a guy who killed his father to seize control of Arasaka. Gonna take an interest in this or not? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. No way this is gonna work. Of success. Hmm. How do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see that parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If somehow we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call down friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just a fixer dame. Okaku Akada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Have shared interests, you and I. Where have you forgotten? Certainly not. Good. Because catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. I am alive and well. As you can see, you should worry about yourself. Hmm. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. What's shaking, Night City? Your man Stan here. Alexander.
rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. <laughs>